The following video will explain the TC squared KX16 body scanner and the outputs that we extracted from it. So initially with any of the body scanners what we capture is what's known as an RBD, reduced body data, and it's displayed here and it can be shown as the torso, the left and right arms and the left and right legs. This data is the raw point cloud data or the processed point cloud data should I say that we'll use to extract any outputs from. And this is the first stage. So once we have this, we will then extract data using the MEP. So we can pick any MEP that we have defined or define any MEP we require. MEP is measurement extraction parameters. We can edit this as you can see, but if we run the extraction, this will extract from each participant all the measurements defined within the MEP and they can be shown here visually or they can be looked at one at a time by selecting them. So for instance, we could look at bust, waist, and hip. And you can see them displayed here. Now these measurements are what will be returned to each participant and also what can be extracted. So what a participant would get when they come to be scanned is shown here on this print preview. They get a sheet which details the measurements recorded from the different parts of the body and also a side and front view with measurement lines depicted on them so that they can see um, where the measurements are placed. Now anyone who then wants to do anything further with the body scanner output can then take this one step further. So we have defined MEPs within this but if for instance you wanted to have custom MEPs you can go to the edit MEP and within this we can make any changes. So to give an indication of some of the changes that might be made Apart from the normal measurements, we've taken and set a waist at 40 centimetres down from the nape and a hip at 60 centimetres down from the nape, which is 20 centimetres below the waist. So assuming you have a garment which has standard point of measure and you've determined the waist on the garments measured at 40 from the neck and the hip at 20 from this, we can extract this data from each participant to see how they correspond with the garment, not only how they are defined. So if we have a look at the... MEP you can see if you click on this and you can see what the parameters are and we can go into this for just about any measurement and determine certain parameters for where the circumferences lengths are taken on the body and if we look at this at the end of the output we can select both this waist and this hip and you can see they occur at slightly different points to the waist and hip that are defined by the body scanner and they allow us to make a comparison of the garment to the person and also how that garment would correspond to the person and how it will be different to the waist and hip that they have. Further to this, we can then extract all of the data from the measurement extraction parameters into Excel spreadsheets. And we do this using batch process. Go through the process, extract it to an Excel spreadsheet, and we have that here. And then within this Excel spreadsheet, it will list us all the measurements that are taken from the participant and their numbered in accordance with the size USA numeration, which is very similar, if not comparable to the size UK output. So this gives us data, which as a data set is comparable to other major surveys that have been undertaken globally. And from this, we can perform very simple statistical analysis, mean, standard deviation, min, and the percentiles or quartiles, and again, the max as well. And obviously you can undertake further statistical analysis or comparative analysis of all of these measurements should you wish. But this is the sort of batch processed raw data that will be output from it. So further to this, we can then take the scans and apart from undertaking any custom analysis in terms of MEPs, we can also take slices from the body. So to give you an idea of this, we'll look at the most simple way of doing it and we can show a slice from the body, take the torso, and we can run down through the body and look at slices at different levels. And you can see the yellow line following the body here. Now we can output these into other formats and put them out as DXF files, and then they can be looked at in different ways. And it gives a unique opportunity to look at the body in a way differently for that how we may look at it normally. We turn the slice function off, put all parts back on again, and Further to this, if we then wanted to take these scans out into another format, we can go to the avatars and virtual fashion interface. And here we could pick one of the uh, base models, 
if we take Optitex Eva's model, ticket as female, select a standard appearance, and then by using this feature, we can create a file which can be taken into other formats. So we can create a .obj file which can be opened in other software like Poser or other 3D analysis software. And what this also does is gives us a standard head, hands and feet. So the dimensions of the body, legs, torso and arms remain those of the participant. With the standard head, hands and feet, it provides suitable anonymity for us to share the data a little more freely. And again, this can be taken into other frame, other software platforms to enable clearer and different analysis. And if you wanted to take bits and flatten things off or look at curvature and angles, there's all sorts of opportunities to undertake this type of analysis in other software programs. So overall, the body scanner provides a unique opportunity to interact with a human body in a different way. The limitation of scanning, the major limitation would be that we can only analyze the body in this fixed posture. However, if we accept that the posture is static, all the other elements in terms of analysis are custom. Once we have a data set, we can analyze it. Apart from being able to change the posture, we can analyze it as many times in as many different ways as possible to allow for greater information specific to different products and different product areas.